Previously on The Plot Thickens. I can't offer anything like this fabulous settee here. So what's with all the little characters on it, huh? Oh, you know, they're, they're all images from my childhood. So even the one with you and a bear? Ooh. Yes. Growing up, my, my mother, I, I guess technically my nanny, would tell me stories about how when I grew up, I could fight a bear. I've obviously realized that you can't go around fighting bears with your burns, but I... Well, I mean, you, you can, Rowan. You can absolutely go around fighting bears with your bare hands. Mm. I grew up with animated princesses all the time, mm -hmm. so I think um, consuming squirrels and mice and birds, I think the princess in me would just shrivel up and die. Well, yeah, it's hard to crunch down on a rat head when you're thinking about Gus. It's called the money source, the source of money <laughs> and all of its sources, the world round. This one is by mm -hmm. Ali Perkins and Kevin Worcestershire. Even though this book was written in 97, it would be pertinent today. Don't you think there's some really valuable information about the future of personal computing? Of course there is, considering that my father is one of the people that they talk about and he invested a lot of money into all of the things. Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is Monday, as you can see, unless you're listening to this on a day other than a Monday, um, <laughs> in which case it is that day. Uh, but this has been re uh, released on a Monday. Uh, it is our uh, regular Monday installment of The Plot Thickens. So let's get into it. Oh, hey there, Louise. Um, am I the first one again? You sure are. I think, I think, uh, everybody should be here soon. I, you know, I've, I've just been waiting, sitting here on, in my yep. chair for the last 20 minutes or so, you know, just to be prepared. But you're right. the first. Is, is that a new chair? It, I, it looks different from the other one. It is. This is a brand new chair. Uh, the other chair was um it was how do you mm, it was um it was evil mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was evil and yeah so i had i i needed it purified and after it was purified it really wasn't sitable anymore so i got a new one yeah my grandma had a chair like that once oh yeah oh yeah yeah well, I mean, we didn't purify it. We just set it on fire and put it out in the garage. But, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that you, uh, you know, whatever you did is better. No, I did, I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the only way to purify chairs. Okay, well, I'm glad that we, uh, we see eye to eye on that. Yeah, that's nice. You hey know, there, I, I don't talk about... Oh, I'm oh sorry. hey there, Tad. I, the oh, door hey, was Tad. cracked open, so I just came right in. Oh. That's fine. Well, That's fine. That's why it's open. Yeah. Welcome. We were just talking about purifying the devil out of chairs. Oh, you mm -hmm. have to. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a, one of those great tra traditions that uh, almost died out, you know? Have you ever purified a chair? Well, uh, not, not myself per se, uh, but I have, of course, observed many chair purifications in my time, you know, traveling, mm. traveling the world, all these mm. different cultures and places and people and oh you know it is all about the people isn't it well yes it's also about the the their lives and the areas that they're brought up in though too right the the terrain and the oh. the seasons and the weather it all kind of makes the person and the culture oh you know, I've never, in all the travels I've done, I've never thought about that. I'll have I to never had you figured that. for a maximalist, uh, Louise. I'm, so, I'm sorry, a what? A maximalist. You're into all the things put together. You know, one, no one uh, single avenue. The whole big picture. Oh, oh we're well. talking about big pictures. Sorry, I'm late. Hello. Oh, hi there, Rowan. Just on time, but just on time is late. That's true. Okay. Uh, all right, then. So I'm double late? Hmm. Anyway, hello, everyone. How is everybody doing? We're doing great. We're talking about yeah. purifying chairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, purifying, like, spiritually or purifying in the sense of 
like the wood well, grain or purifying in the sense of so you can sit in them properly? Well, you know, burning the devil out of them. Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Louise is an expert. Really? Oh, oh you ma- you're making me blush, Reggie. I'm not, I'm not that much of an expert. I, you know, and really, I'm not necessarily the one that really did any of the burning. That Marta is the whiz <laughs> at, at burning chairs. Oh, she, she burns things. Mm, oh, well, purifies them. But yeah, I, it's oh. my bad I said burn. But <laughs> purify. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you did very clearly say burn, yeah. I did, you know, but that's why Marta is so much better at it than I am, because she she purifies him. Now, is that uh, is that materially different, or is this more of an intention thing? Excellent question. Hmm. Well, yes, what I is mean, the intent? I mean, the devil was in it, so oh. the ah. intent would be to spiritually remove the devil. That guy gets everywhere, doesn't he? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, he's like a bad penny. Isn't uh, hell Ooh. is like a burning place, right? Oh yeah. Like, well, some is... of the some of the levels are. So how do you how do you burn the devil out of a thing if the devil like lives in fire and does burny things? I would postulate, and this is just a theory, but I would say that it's probably true that the devil is so used to fire. That if he's in something else and you light that thing on fire, cleansing, then he <sighs> would move out of that thing and into the fire, which ultimately goes away. Oh. I didn't, you didn't strike me as a theologian. Well, I just had a weird feeling in my brain and ideas happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're truly an inspiration to us all. <laughs> wow, please, Professor. <laughs> and, wow, thank you. <laughs> Would anybody like a blondie? Oh. A blondie? Is that mm-hmm. now, what, what is that kind a, of a thing is that? Yeah, is that a brownie where you forget to put the cocoa in? Huh? Well, no, there's, there's, there's cocoa in these, I think. I just know that they're blondies and they're delicious. Oh, yeah, I'd love it. Love a sample. Okay, here you, here you go. Everybody can take one from the plate. Oh, thank yes, you. Kindly. Beautiful. Thank you very much. The beautiful presentation. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I oversee the presentation. I don't do <laughs> I don't do the presentation. I don't do things. I just oversee. Wow, your your guidance is it, uh immaculate and uh um, you, you don't do things? Oh, that- no. Of course. Well, I mean, I do things. I do this. I do this book club, but you know, I don't do these things. These uh, these tasks. You know, they're they're more suited for other people that aren't me. You know, you you do uh-huh. you, Louise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I uh, <laughs> I have a confession to make, Louise. Oh, okay. Uh, your oversight. Uh, you know, regardless, I, I truly expected this to taste like cornbread. <laughs> oh. And it did not. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. I mean, do if I'm so sorry, Tad. I did not want to give you a false image of what, what a blondie tastes like. I can get mm. some cornbread for you if you want. Well, I mean, uh, you know, maybe in, in another... In another life, you know, uh, but, uh, <laughs> wow, I just, I find this so exciting. You know, you, you're so daring. <laughs> oh. oh, uh, speaking of which I, I was a little concerned when I came in this evening and I saw the door cracked open. I wasn't sure if you had had some kind of house invasion or murdered or something like that. <laughs> I did notice the, uh, police tape over your garage. Yes. Yes, yes, that. A bit unsettling. <sighs> well, if you haven't noticed, Marta isn't here right now. Uh huh. Yeah, I was. Uh, I did detect a very distinct lack of screaming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you see, she's down at the police station for me. She's giving me. She's giving them my testimony. Uh, <laughs> my. 
Because I'm not good at doing those things. But bless Marta's heart. She's so much better at it than I am. So I just have her go do it for me. And um, my husband... My husband was unfortunately found dead in his car. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. That's too... I'm so sorry, Louise. I hate it when my car gives out on me. That sucks. (laughs) You know, it is unfortunate when the cars do give out, but uh, thank you for the sentiment, but, um, you know, it's not my first rodeo, so. (laughs) Uh I mean, you're Uh, sure you want to keep going with book clubs? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine, you know, he, which one was that, was that, was he, that was John, John, he was a good one, he was a good one. But, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes people drive home and they're tired and they fall asleep in their car and Mm -hmm. they don't Mm. turn the car off and Uh then they forget their keys to the indoor garage door. Uh So, you know, you, you fling the door open the next morning and you see them just like uh, on the steps down there. You know, oh wow! That just happens. Yes, it happens. It just, must do. Just <laughs> wow. Hmm? So, what are you going to do now? Are, are, are the funerary services? Uh, oh what? yeah, there'll be yeah, there'll be some of those. But um, you know, I'll be I'll just be present for them. You know, <laughs> um, Marta when she's done with the the testimony over at the police station for me. She's um she's gonna go pick everything out for me. So Wow. I, I thought Marta could deliver a great eulogy. Oh, oh, she, oh she better. Yes. She better. Oh. <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry, I, what, Oh, I was just going to say, what are you expecting from the eulogy? Uh, we don't know I I don't know if anyone else has, but I've never met your husband, John. What what are we going to say about him? Oh, I'm sure it'll be, you know, something about numbers <laughs> and oh, golf. Probably golf. He was a golfer. Was oh, so he one I of those uh, financial types? Yeah, he was. He inv- investments, investments, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. He was a big, um, big investment baker. Wow. So. Yep. Dad, isn't that what you used to do? Once upon a time, uh, before I decided I needed to go rogue, you know, and <laughs> couldn't be <laughs> confined by those corporate structures, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, that's exactly what John did. He oh, went he was rogue. let go? Uh, oh. <laughs> no, he... um. He started his own business after he realized he could just make more money and he had enough clientele to follow him. Oh. So. Mm-hmm. I could oh, very a thing. daring. Yes. Very oh, daring. Just, yes. Yes. Wow. That was, that was John. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. His name wasn't John. That one's name was Travis. <laughs> I, I get them so mixed up. That How makes more sense. Sorry. How go many ahead. husbands have you had, Louise? Oh, geez, Reggie. You know, I. How many? How do we really want to measure love with a number? You know, that's you know not what a I'm bad saying? business idea. <laughs> I I definitely am with you on not measuring you know love by a number, but yes. um, he, human lives. I feel like we could put a number on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, a quantity of, of the individuals with whom I have entered holy matrimony or oh. matrimony of some level, <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think, I think four of them have unfortunately passed. So that's not that many in in the grand percentage <laughs> scheme of how many. So four. Out of all your other ex-husbands? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I'm a quick-to-marry person. Um, 
You I must be. You don't look old enough to have been married that many <laughs> oh, times. Oh, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, so um, I tend to huh. figure out pretty fast whether or not I want to marry someone. So uh, if if they aren't putting a ring on it by the third date, oh, gosh, I'll, <laughs> golly gee, I'm out of there. <laughs> the third wow. date? Oh, of course. Yeah, three, third time's a charm. That's how it goes. Third time gets me a charm, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. that. Perfect mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. 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 I may have to yep. pick that up. I'll pick it up by, by <laughs> all means. Yeah, how is how has your dating life been going, Tad? Well, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm so busy with my uh, investments and um, my, uh, you know, traveling the world. I haven't really uh, felt like nailing myself down, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard Mm -hmm. to connect, you know, with people. Yes, other people, they've, everybody's so different. Have you thought about bringing up the book club, hmm? To some of your prospective dates, perhaps? (gasps) Oh, we could be just like a group of, of, of like... Uh, supervisors trying to decide who is a good who is a good match. We'd be your matchmakers. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like this idea. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and would you be taking an active role, or would you be overseeing Marta in that capacity? <laughs> oh, you, I didn't think about that. You know what? You know what, Tad? For you. Yeah. For you. I would, I would take an active role. Oh my! Well, that's I've good. Very hands on. I think for about fifty could... percent of the time. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good because otherwise it could be potentially a conflict of interest on her part. I, anyway, what? Wait, we, conflict of? Are we gonna? Why would that about... be a conflict of interest on her part? <gasps> Tad. Tad, are you thinking about asking out Marta? Uh, uh. Well, you know, decisions are hard. <laughs> uh, uh, it has crossed my mind. I mean, damn! I mean, she's a she's a hell of a cook. She's <laughs> uh, seemingly good at pretty much everything. She's definitely you know, loyal and trustworthy, and I don't know. There's a lot yeah. to like. I think I've never actually seen her. Uh, oh, she's gorgeous. She really is. Would you say she's a stone cold fox? Well, you that know, does not I don't, sound appealing. I, I don't know that term. So oh, well, I think I think as my nieces and nephews say she would slaps. <laughs> I don't I don't think you want someone who's going to slap you. That's um uh, I mean uh, uh well let's not speak too soon. <laughs> uh I mean, you know. Uh, uh I mean she is she is a highly attractive lady. I only mm-hmm. met her the one time, but she did beat me in a in a arm wrestle contest. So oh, you know, that's someone someone what? worth having in your corner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She was uh, top of her top of her weight division in uh, Germany. You know, I believe that. Mm-hmm. I believe that. She looks little, but whew. Mm-hmm. she packs a punch. You say? Wow. Well, well she hasn't arm. punched me. Oh, but not yet. I imagine based on the arm wrestle. I imagine that if she were to punch me in the face, it would hurt quite a bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Just you... gonna say that. I was saying, so you like you like strong women, strong, like physically strong, independent well, women, maybe less so. Well, uh, yeah, sure, sure. It was the the other part of that, but anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, this blondie. Still doesn't taste like cornbread, but I am fine with that. Oh, good. I think okay. I prefer this flavor if I'm being perfectly honest. Well, it's a very different flavor than a, than cornbread, so. Yeah, I I did get there, yeah. All right. Well, if you decide to uh court my Marta, <laughs> then I just want you to know, Tad. And I want you to understand that I am only putting my hand on your elbow <laughs> as a form of intimidation. <laughs> that if you hurt my Marta in any way, shape, or form, 
I will come for you. Okay. That sounds I uh, ominous. I am thusly intimidated. But you see, that? people with re- real power just need to touch an elbow. That's what yeah. I learned from my second husband. So, is mm-hmm. he alive? Oh no, he is not. No, he. That was pro- that was that was a tough day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so your second husband and your and husband and your most recent husband both dead. Mm-hmm. So there are two more deads, and then an unknown quantity of others. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. Uh, L- Louise, I certainly would uh, want to do nothing to jeopardize uh, Marta's feelings or her ability to be supervised by you in any way. Uh, well, you know. Uh, okay, that's good. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. I feel very observed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Say, did anyone actually read this book? I did not. No. <laughs> no. Not this time. There's a book? <laughs> Ding! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was... I was <laughs> yes, I, I was going to say that I didn't read the book. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh i peaked so bad right there ah. <laughs> peaking's oh, good for you it lets you know you're delightful. alive something yeah mm-hmm. peaky blinders oh well, that felt like a fun one i feel like we mm-hmm. know more about louise which i'm pleased about we also know more about i think uh we know a lot more about tad too yeah, what oh, is yeah. twist? Interesting development. Yeah. Yeah. I uh I I will tell you that I asked the question, are are you gonna be participating or will you be overseeing Marta? And then it was after that that the idea popped in my head about it being a conflict of interest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that that just sprung up and I was like, well, let's let's try, let's see. Yeah. I like it. Me too. Me too. <laughs> well, thanks so much for uh, thickening some plots with us mm-hmm. this Monday or, uh, you know, other day that you were listening on. Um, <laughs> uh, as always, we will be back on Thursday with your regular episode and uh, someone else will be in charge. So thank God for that. <laughs> uh, so until we meet then, I've been John. I've been Cody. I've been Jess. And I've been Dave. And we wasted all the time, thickened all the plots, and did some podcasting. Hell, Hell yeah. That's what we Yay. do. Is Podcast? Podcast. Cast. 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 Ooh. Cast, cast, cast. Ooh. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> Bye. Good night, folks. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there, we have all the answers.